Hey, Christian Anderson here with Hook Hunt, and we are very excited to tell you about version 2.0. And today we're going to go through an overview of what's coming and with the exciting changes that we have. And you know what the biggest thing is, guys, is that we've been listening to you. And listening to you has been just amazing because you guys have given us such good feedback and we have immediately taken that feedback and gone into development for 2.0 and I think the changes that we're going to be able to show you today are going to be very very significant for how easy it's going to be to use this app in the field and be able to uh, easily get to all of the different features that the app has to offer and uh, give you an idea about what's coming and uh, we hope you guys are going to be as excited as we are to get the new Hook Hunt 2.0 on your phone. So anyway, when we go into this, we're going to go first into the home screen and the home screen of course isn't going to have many changes to it and uh, you're still going to be able to choose your activity from fishing and hunting. But one of the uh, small changes that we're going to bring to this is let's say that you know you're going to be doing hunting for the next six months and you'll have no need to go into fishing you're going to be able to default your opening from your fishing or your hunting which means that when you open your app it'll go to the home screen for either fishing or hunting by your command default so we made that just a little bit easier now the next screen we're going to look at is going to be the fishing home screen and on the fishing home screen or the hunting home screen and we're going to, we're just going to go through the fishing one but it's going to be the same for both and on the fishing home screen you can see that there is two tabs there there's tap for tools and instead of having the gear bag or the tackle box slider it's simply gps markings and there's some uh, interesting features here. The new home screen for fishing and hunting is going to be a map view screen. There's no longer any buttons for you to navigate to. We feel by listening to you guys that the maps were the most important feature for you. So what we've done is we have taken the map and we have put all of the tools onto the map and the map's your home screen. Secondly, the settings page will provide the user the ability to set the default map we've already talked about that on the home page and every feature button is housed within these two sliders so let's take a look at the tool slider screen and you just simply tap for tools and when you do that you're going to see that you have five major headings you have your log tools you have your map tools and you have your weather tools, your trip tools, and your settings. And so when you click on any of these, it's going to drop down and give you all of the full menu choices that you have under each one of those categories. And what it also does is when you're not in those, let's say you only want to be in your log tools, the rest of them will be closed neatly, nicely, so that you guys don't have to worry about seeing a whole bunch of other stuff when you're trying to navigate to one or two different features that maybe are just in the log tools and, uh, and the other tools aren't really important to you. The other thing we've done is we've dropped down all of the social media stuff down to the bottom because the other thing that we realized that we, that we got back from some of the feedback is that the social media components of this are probably the least important to you. What's most important is that you're able to get to the tools, you're able to effectively use those tools so that you can capture the data that really matters to you in the field. Um, but one of the uh, things that you'll see there is that we've also added the ability in the app, if you look down at the bottom, that you're going to be able to find friends and add friends from the application. You won't need the website in order to do that, so we've added that. The other thing that is going to be added in version 2.0 is notifications. So you'll always know when you have a notification, maybe one of your friends has got a fish on, or they got a game down, or they've invited you on a trip. All those kinds of things are going to be accessible directly from the application. 
And uh, some of the exciting things is even if your application is closed or your friend's application is closed and you want to get a message to them, that in-app notification or the push notification will go to them regardless and you'll get that on your phone even if the application is closed. So let's go on to uh, the next screen which is going to be the tools slider screen and I uh, want to point out four major new features that have been added and uh, and again we got to thank you guys man for uh, all of the feedback that we've gotten I can't say that enough because you know Hook Hunt is a community and uh, and as Hook Hunt is a community that it takes everybody giving information to get information it takes you guys telling us what you'd like to see and we're over here on our side implementing those things so let's look at these four main new features. One is Recon Notes. Uh, you guys want to be able to take Recon Notes in the field and one thing we've tried to do is to make this uh, data entry neutral, meaning that we don't want you guys to have to be in the field doing a bunch of data entry, but a lot of you guys have said that you want to have a place where you can add some, some notes. So if you're out there scouting around, you're going to be able to go right into your recon notes and uh, you'll be able to add those right there. The other thing that's coming is going to be the new offline option. The new not offline option is going to be utilized when you're out in the field and you know that you're not going to have a tower signal. And what you'll be able to do in the offline settings is you'll be able to load a map prior to going and, and your GPS works from the satellite and is not dependent upon the towers. So you guys will be able to go out there and utilize the map, utilize the different features and do that in an offline capacity. And that's very, very exciting for us to be able to offer this. Uh, and then you also will see the new in-app and push notifications and the new ability to add friends in the app. The other thing that's going to be going on in this new tool slider screen is that all the buttons are going to be, when you push them, they're going to change dramatically. They're going to change colors and so you'll never doubt if you've hit a button and an action is going to be taking place. And all the new screens are going to simply overlay upon the map and once your activity is complete, the pop-up will close and you'll go right back to that new map view. So uh, just really excited about that. The next screen we're going to be looking at both of the sliders that we have when they're open. And you'll notice that the, uh, the tap to open the tools that you have within the app, but I also want you to see the GPS markings. We had uh, some other buttons there, we have cleared those out. And so now when you open up the GPS marking slider, you simply hit the button and that button is automatically going to record the GPS time date stamp of that particular feature. For instance, if I were to hit dock, then that dock is recorded for me automatically with its GPS position, time date stamp, and already goes into the appropriate journal folder and remember, the journal folder is always defaulted by date. So if you haven't set up a trip, that's how it's going to be, but you can always go into that folder and rename it. So anything you do on a particular day is automatically recorded for you without any data entry. You hit a button, an action occurs, and then it's automatically recorded into the appropriate journal page. The GPS marking slider um, is going to be unbelievably simplified and easy and I think one of the things that you guys all were talking about is this needs to be very easy and so I think we've done a real good job of trying to simplify this whole thing for you. So now all the tools are on one scrolling menu bar. So when I want to be able to go into this, you know, and the thing I believe that makes a good app is you can hold it with one hand and simply with your thumb be able to navigate the features, open the features, utilize the features, close the features, and get on to the next thing. So we, again, we don't want you to spend a lot of time in the field trying to do a lot of data entry. You want to be able to do that on the fly. 
Under the log tools in particular, one of the things we wanted to do was make it real easy to get to your camera, real easy to get to your video, and I think we've accomplished that by putting that under the log tools right out in front so that you can immediately get to those areas. And, uh, and so you'll see that as your one and two button under your log tools. And then uh, also under your log tools, you're gonna see your journal and your recon notes. So we made it uh, super abundantly clear where those things are and, uh, and how to get to it. So uh, overlay example, what, what we have here is we're just showing you the weather forecast. So if I was in my toolbar slider, I wanted to know what the weather forecast is. I'm simply gonna hit the weather button and everything creates an overlay on top of the map. And, uh, and the other thing we tried to accomplish with this new version 2.0 is we tried to, instead of going two and three layers deep, we wanted as much as possible and as often as possible to have the different features have a single overlay on that map. When you take a look at it, you hit close and you're right back to the map. You're right back to where you want to be. And, and in this example, the weather is tapped, the weather screen is populated over the home screen with the edges slightly different so that you can easily see that it's overlaid on top of the map. You simply hit the close button and, and that is going to execute closing that weather screen and takes you right back to where you were. And uh, you can also hit the view hourly and, and that will close the weather forecast screen and take you to an hourly forecast screen. Some of the things we've added to the weather are going to be the sunset and sunrise time to make that very, very easy for you to get to. So we got more to come and uh, we're looking forward to sharing it with you and uh, we'll see you real soon. Thanks.